Hey y'all, y'all come on in. I'm making another Thanksgiving item that my family usually asks for. This is a buttermilk layer cake with a cream cheese frosting. The sis usually asks for this every year. I probably won't make it, but she always asks. So you guys, I'm gonna show you guys how I make my our family favorite. And before I do, like, subscribe, share. Let's get started on how I made this buttermilk cake. All right, y'all, let's get started with this buttermilk cake. All right, in the bowl, I have one and one half sticks of unsalted butter that's been brought to room temperature. And I also have one and one third cup of sugar. And to that, I will be adding one teaspoon of vanilla. Now that is not a, one teaspoon, I did add a little extra. All right, and we are going to cream that together for eight to 12 minutes because we want it to lighten in color and get all light and fluffy. Well, let's plug it in first. Y'all give me a moment. Give me a minute, give me a minute, let me plug it in. That might be helpful. Let's try that one more time. Ah, we have action. All right, you guys, I'll be right back once this is all creamed together. All right, guys, it's been about 10 minutes with me creaming the sugar and the butter and the vanilla. And you see how light and fluffy it's gotten? That's how we want it to look. Now, if it doesn't look like that, that does not mean that your cake will, won't turn out right. It'll still be just as good. But this just helps to become light and fluffy. So I'm just scraping the sides of the bowl. And next up, I am going to add in three eggs. And you just want to mix it in until the yellow is almost gone. And I'll be right back. All right. And next, we're going to add some flour and some buttermilk. So I have two and one third cups of sifted cake flour, which also includes one and a half teaspoons baking powder, half teaspoon baking soda, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. There you go. And I will alternate that with. One cup buttermilk. See, this one is really easy. It comes together really quickly. And the last of the flour. Y'all, I'm not saying this cake is really quick and easy to make and so good with just a few, you know, same old simple ingredients. It's like the best cake and it's always requested around here for Thanksgiving. So I thought I'd show you guys one of our favorite Thanksgiving cakes. Don't that look good? All right, you guys, let's just scrape down the sides of the bowl real quick and throw it in the oven. All right, and what I will be using is two eight inch cake pans. Can y'all see that pretty good? Let me see. I have two of these. These are eight inch cake pans. They've already been sprayed with some nonstick spray, which also includes some flour. And there's also some parchment paper down in there. And we're going to bake two of these in the oven at 350 for 30 to 35 minutes. And I'll be right back, you guys. And I take this sucker out of the oven. Don't mind my mess. That's cake baking right there. I'll be right back, you guys. All right, you guys. Let's get started with that cream cheese frosting for this buttermilk layer cake. 
So I'm going to start off with one and one half sticks of unsalted butter that's been brought to room temperature. And I have one and one half blocks of that good old cream cheese. It's not completely room temperature. I left it with a slight chill on it. It had got too warm, so I popped that little sucker in, um, in the refrigerator for a few minutes just to help it out. And to that, I will be adding one and one half teaspoons of vanilla. You know, the good stuff. We're going to mix all of that together. I'm going to get this um, butter and the cream cheese going first before I add the vanilla. I don't want it to splash out. You know, you can never go wrong with some cream cheese frosting. It make everything taste better. I say that about everything. Everything make everything taste better. Add that one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. All right, and I am going to add six cups of powdered sugar. I didn't sift it, so I'm just going to add it in as is, and I'll be right back once I add in the rest of it. Look how yummy. Look how yummy. You can never go wrong with some cream cheese. It's good on vanilla cake, chocolate cake, red velvet cake, key lime cake, sweet potato cake, cake. It just go good on cake. Look at it. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Tasty. And it's so creamy. It's so smooth and creamy, you guys. So guess what? This but cream cheese frosting is ready. This frost this buttermilk layer cake. All right, y'all. That cake is out of the oven. Let's frost it with this cream cheese frosting. Now, if your frosting is a little too soft for you, go ahead and pop it in the refrigerator for five to tw uh, for like 20 minutes, or you can put it in the, in the freezer for like 15 minutes, whichever one works for you. Just going to go through it really quickly. All right, and here's that second layer. And you guys, it only took it 25 minutes in my oven to fully cook. So just press it down, make sure everything is on there pretty good. Make sure it's level. And then just gonna continue to frost. making a crumb coat and then I'm gonna chill it for a little bit let that set all right y'all my cake is out of the refrigerator I just threw it in there just to let it set just a little bit 
because my frosting head got a little soft so it started to bulge out around the side so I just wanted it to set some but just be careful of that if it started to bulge out around them where you connected the layers together store it in the refrigerator it'll be fine so I'm gonna just move a little quick so that my uh, frosting doesn't get soft again and if you see like right here you have those little gaps plug that in put the frosting on it it'll be all right see fill it in don't even know anymore Just fill that little sucker in. I'm just showing y'all that real quick. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, add the rest of the frosting. You don't have to make it look pretty. It's for Thanksgiving, you don't have to look pretty. You just gotta taste good. And believe me, it tastes so good. And it's not, it's not a lot left. But if you wanna use all of that, use a lot of it. If you don't, if, even if you don't want to use all of it, that's fine too. Just use as much as you like. We like frosting over here. So we use it all. So just spread it around. Get, get it, cover it all up as best as you want. A little or as, or as much as you like. All right, I'll be right back after I finish frosting. Almost done, you guys. You know, earlier I was talking about a crumb coat. All the crumb coat is the thin layer of frosting. It just seals the crumbs in it so that when, when you're frosting and you don't have little crumbs going all over the cake. You want it to just stay pretty. See it like right here? I don't know if you guys can see that, but I pulled up some uh, of that first layer because I didn't leave it in the refrigerator long enough. So you can see kind of, you can see some of the crumbs. So you cover it up. Don't want to know. And just keep frosting it. Make it look pretty. All right, you guys, it's all decorated and frosted, rather. Let's cut into it. All right, y'all, the cake is ready. It's been frosted. It's ready to be cut. It's ready for Thanksgiving, but you know what? We gonna eat this before Thanksgiving come. I'll just make another one. Let's cut into it. Y'all want some? I know y'all want some. Y'all look, my sister and my mom over here in the cut. Yep. They watching from the sidelines like, where my slice? I'm going to cut me a big slice. So once I cut it, I won't have none left over. So let me get my big slice while I can. Right, look at that. <laughs> I'm talking to a monkey. Look at it. Look at it. We looking. Can't have none. Should have seen her face when I said that. Mm -hmm. Can y'all see it? Can you see it? All right. Cheers. And I'm looking at the bed. Mama singing. And I'm looking, and I'm looking. And I'm eating some cake. All right, you guys. Make some cake. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.